WPTV Rosin Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. Due to weather temperatures dropping, your tire pressure could as well. Coming up next, we'll talk with the experts. I'm Aiden Lane. I'm PTV's Chetty Hart. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to PTV at PHS. Today is Thursday, January 28th, 2021. I'm PTV's Rosin Lester. Topping our show, we get a quick check of how the COVID case count is looking in Marshall County. Although positive cases continue to come in, good news, the number of positive cases are slowing from what they were a few months ago. The Indiana Department of Health is reporting 5,069 people who have tested positive for COVID in Marshall County. More good news, for the past week plus, Marshall County is, has remained in the orange color, which is a tier up from the red highest COVID ranking category. As we told you last week, the COVID vaccine isn't going to be available for students anytime in the near future because testing hasn't been concluded yet for the majority of the vaccine manufacturers. Our PTV's Aiden Lynn hit the halls to see what PHS students think about that news and the vaccine in general. I feel the seniors and the infants need it more because they have a weaker immune system than us teens do. Um, it's pretty sad that I can't get the vaccine because I would want to be safe for others and my family. But, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not very vulnerable, so it, it's honestly okay that I'm not getting it first. Plymouth High School admins want to remind you about the state-required attendance policies in effect for the pandemic year and the importance for students to not miss more than 10 unexcused absences. This prompted Principal Condon sending out an email to all PHS parents last week. If you have constant trancy and absenteeism, you will definitely want to listen up. 10 unexcused absences, regardless if you are an in-person or virtual student, will result in notification to the Department of Child Services for a possible educational neglect case for your parent or parents. Important to know if you are an in-person student and you decide to appear in your class virtually, your parent has to call in your absence or you will be counted in the computer system as absent if your parent doesn't call your absence in. When a student is absent unexcused, Mrs. Vargas tries to make a call to that parent the next day to say, hey, your student wasn't here, you know, should have been excused and you just didn't get a chance to call us. After the third unexcused absence, a member of the guidance department will try and make contact with the parent to talk about the absences. At five, an administrator will make contact with the parent to talk about absences. At eight, we do a home visit with an administrator and a counselor. And then at 10, we make that call to DCS. But it's not like we're just waiting till 10 and then calling. There's steps all along the way. Second semester parent-teacher conferences are quickly approaching and due to the pandemic, just like last semester, the event will be virtual. Parents are asked to save the date for Wednesday, February 17th between 6.30 and 8 p.m. To get a head start on your pick of 15-minute time slots, parents can set up a phone or Zoom meeting appointment with students' teachers. Meetings help parents get a better understanding of what your student is experiencing and learning at school and what you can do to support them. To set up a meeting, simply email your students' teachers. The PHS administration is, is expecting to send an email to the parents about the upcoming conferences in the near future. Last week, the College Board announced SAT subject tests are being discontinued and so is the optional SAT essay. According to the College Board website, students can take the SAT with essay through June 2021. After that, the essay will only be available in states where it's required for SAT school day administrations for accountability purposes. Students, re regist students registered for the SAT essay this spring can cancel the essay portion at any time free of charge. The College Board says they are working on a revamped digitally delivered SAT test that meets the needs of students and the changing times. So there are a couple of changes that are coming with the SAT. Um, and so should you decide that that's important to you as you're getting ready for post-secondary choices, um, you need to know that they are no longer offering the College Board SAT subject tests. And then the other thing you need to know about the SAT is that they are getting rid of the optional essay portion of the test. Now to our PTV Sports Rundown. Tonight at 6 p.m., the boys swimming team will compete in the conference tournament at Northridge, while the girls basketball team goes head-to-head -head with Northridge here at home at 6.15 p.m. For tomorrow, the boys swimming team is in NLC diving action at Northridge at 6 p.m. At 6.15 p.m., the boys basketball team is at home taking on the Northridge Raiders. Moving on to Saturday, the boys swimming team will head down to Northridge again to continue the conference tournament at 9 a.m while the boys wrestling team battles in the sectional tournament here at home at 9 a.m. An update to the annual Riley Dance Marathon fundraiser we told you about last week. T-shirt sales for the annual event wrapped up this past week. 
However, student organizers say they are still raising money for the Riley Hospital for, sim for children simply by accepting donations on their secure fundraising dance marathon website. If you purchase the t-shirt, those are expe expected to come in the week of February 8th. Anyone who purchased a t-shirt is asked to wear it on Thursday, February 12th. The day of the grand total of donations raised this year will be announced. Due to the pandemic, students are unable to host a physical dance event. This year would have marked the 10th annual dance marathon at PHS. Thanks for watching our newest edition of PTV at PHS. I'm PTV's Rosalyn Lester. Have a great day and be sure to mask up PHS.